Hey guys, just wanted to show you my generator setup and how we back feed the um, house grid. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, people have various size generators and uh, setups, but generally what I've noticed in my area, homeowners tend to have a generator but don't have a proper way to actually use them when the power is out. Uh, what often happens is they get their generator out, they start it and then start, they start chasing the extension cords to their fridge to whatever appliance they need and it becomes a spaghetti mess and you basically uh, have a limit of how many appliances you can power. Uh, with this setup that I did, uh, it's nothing fancy, but it, it's a low cost setup, but I can feed entire house power grid. Pretty much I can power entire house minus the air conditioning compressor. Um, in the winter, the heat will work. There's enough juice from this generator, there's 5,000 running watts um, generac. Uh, this produces enough electricity to feed the entire house. Um, so the way the way I have it set up, it's generator is it, nothing fancy, just a regular gasoline operated generator. Uh, you can pick one up for about $600. And uh, we use the uh, 30 amp power inlet cord. So this is a two phase, two, 220 volt setup. Plugs in here. And we have a special inlet socket made on the house side. It's keyed in there so you can only go the right way. Like this. So once it's hooked up like this, um, generator's running. The one final thing we have to do is switch over from the main and I'm gonna go in the basement now where our power panel is and show you how it's done. All right, so I'm at the basement where the, the power panel is at and we had this uh, interlock kit installed. Now, this kit I did not install. I hired the uh, professional electrician. They came in here and did this. So what they did is they ran the 220 volt two phase 30 amp uh, cable and installed this breaker here. This breaker, that's the bag feed from the generator. And as you can see, it cannot be engaged. It's blocked by the interlock when the main is on. So in order to switch to the generator power, you have to turn off the main, slide this panel up, and then only then you can engage this. So once this side is engaged, the main is cut off. That means electricity can't backflow back to the pole and potentially hurt someone up upstream. Um, this interlock kit is critical. You cannot backfeed the grid legally without it. Um, if you just create male mail socket from your generator and plug in one of your outlets, chances are you will kill electrician that's working a mile down your house because the electricity will go back from your house into the pole and it will get stepped up to 22,000 volts or whatever the transformers is on your pole, those um, trash can transformers that you see hanging. Anyways, so I get the generator running, I come down here, I turn off the main, slide this panel up, and switch on the, um, the generator breaker. At this point, all these circuits become powered by the generator. Now, obviously, depending on your um, how many watts your generator can produce, you cannot run everything. From my trials, I can run everything, every circuit except for air conditioner compressor. There's just not enough uh, watts in that generator. Now, if I had a about 12,000 watt generator, I probably could run air conditioning. But since uh, this is for emergency purposes and it's kind of um, my objective for this setup was to do a uh, full house feed for under thousand dollars, including cost of generator and installation. So. This particular setup is the most basic one with minimal amount of modification. It allows me to have a full feed to, to all the rooms, every appliance. And um, for example, when the Hurricane Sandy hit us, um, we had a 60 mile per hour gusts of wind and a lot of trees went down. Um, electricity was out for about 30 hours. All of our neighbors around got flooded because there, once electricity went out, uh, the sump pump stopped working and as you know, you know when the storms happen like this, there's lots of rain, and so the basement started getting filled. We didn't get flooded because we had um, a generator available, and the sump pump continued to operate all through the night, and everything was fine. Uh, you find so. Anyways, if you have questions, leave leave comments. I'll try to answer them. But the, again, um, your mileage will vary. There are there are automated uh, setups. You can get another panel. With an automatic transfer switch, that one's more sophisticated electronics. It basically um, 
can automatically start your generator if you have one of those Generac stationary units they use uh, a natural gas or standby diesel or whatever you have those are very expensive nice units but um, the purpose of this setup was to use the general retail generator um, just about any kind of generator your your Honda 2000 U, um, I's will work um, any generator any manual generator basically this setup allows you to legally backfeed your house grid without worrying about killing someone with a uh, homebrew setups again I want to emphasize this needs to be installed by a professional electrician do not do this yourself um, as you can see you will not pass house inspection if you were to do it yourself uh, they leave the stickers here and then they sign off on the actual um, work order so this was actually certified ele electrical specialist that installed this and um, it's a safe system very simple to use